Six o'clock, Indiana's first transgender elected official will take office in January. And it's happening in Greencastle, Indiana. Population 10,000. News 8's new multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey, highlights this historic vote. Many people might find a place like Greencastle too small to be progressive enough to elect a transgender city councilor. But Veronica Pedral says for nearly 15 years, this community has accepted her, and they showed that support by heading to the polls. Musician is one of Veronica Pedro's titles. You can tell she's quite good at it, as each note echoes from her piano. But that's just one title, the most important one, parent to her twins, and the most recent one, Greencastle City Councilor-elect for War Three. This is my first foray into, um, into public life, and I'm really excited about that. A Democrat running under the campaign message, being a good neighbor, she became Indiana's first transgendered elected official, beating her opponent with nearly 70 percent of the vote. I thought long and hard. Um, I thought about what this moment might be like, um, and I, I, I said, yeah, our community is ready for this. Greencastle population 10,500 historically has voted conservatively, but party leaders encouraged her to throw her name in the race after the incumbent councilor didn't seek re-election. 14 years ago, she started her transition in Greencastle, and since then, she's been presenting her authentic self. Because of that, I really didn't have much fear going into this. This shop sort of became the focal point for the election, and Pedro says she never entered to become the first transgender city councilor, but now that she's won, it's going to mean big things for people. It's great um, that um, this wall's been broken, and, and I would certainly hope that uh, this might help uh, one or two bullied kids who aren't sure that they can, uh, you know, move on and be themselves. On the campaign trail, Pedro's dealt with everything from name calling and doubt, but in the end, her community engagement and being true is what she says helped her clinch the win. I'm not the only one who breathed a, a big sigh of relief. Pedra will be sworn in in January, and she says she's looking forward to continue her work in the community, but this time with city councilor by her name. In Greencastle, Katira Winfrey, News 8. Katira, thank you.